Have you ever wondered what ultraviolet or UV light and terms like UV wavelength and UV index mean? And what effects UV light can have? There are artificial sources of UV, such as sunbeds, welding arcs, or UV sterilizers. But the biggest natural source of UV is the sun. The rays of the sun are electromagnetic waves. Depending on their wavelength, the light appears in different colors. But there are also invisible components, like ultraviolet light, or more precisely, UV radiation. UV radiation is classified by wavelength into three categories. UVC radiation gets trapped in the ozone layer of the atmosphere. But 5% of UVB radiation can get through. And up to 95% of UVA radiation can get through without anything stopping it. That means UV radiation is always there. Whether it's summer, or winter, or even when it's cloudy. But how does it affect us? UV light provides some benefits for humans, such as triggering vitamin D production. But UV radiation can also be very harmful. UVA radiation can trigger sun allergies, and UVB radiation is responsible for sunburn, which can increase the risk of skin cancer. It can also cause sunburn of the cornea, called photokeratitis. Negative effects of prolonged UV exposure include accelerated aging of the skin caused by UVA radiation. And it can also result in eye diseases such as cataracts. This causes nearly 10% of blindness worldwide. But don't worry. Apart from season and weather conditions, the UV intensity always depends on day, time, region, and elevation. And you can estimate UV intensity with the UV index scale. If the level is between one and two, no protection is required. But you definitely need protection when it's between three and seven. And when it reaches the highest UV index above seven, you need even more protection. Or maybe just stay inside. To find out what the current UV index is in a certain place, you can download an app, search on the internet, or just find it on the weather forecasts on television or the radio. So now you know a lot about UV. But what can we do to protect our skin? Just watch our next video.